That's right. And the technician that swabbed the gun also swabbed the bullets. And she then sent it to the lab. And the lab technician, I swear, in the report, like italics for everyone to see clearly, items seven through nine or whatever it was they were on the list were not tested. And so she made the conscious decision not to test the bullets. And I knew, you know, what she says and what they argue is that, like I said earlier, DNA evidence and DNA, you know, transfer in terms of contact DNA, whether it's primary or secondary, is more conducive on kind of rough surfaces because it's easier to get your skin cells on rough surfaces. And so their argument is, is that it, it kind of doesn't make sense to test the bullets because they're smooth. And so you're not as likely to get a DNA profile or develop a DNA profile from the bullets. But what happened is, and what was some really good evidence, the sheriff's technician that swabbed the gun also swabbed the bullets. And what she said, first off, is that she sorry, swabbed the bullets through the protocol that was developed by her office, the sheriff's office, in conjunction with the lab. Basically, at the direction of the lab, she swabbed these bullets.